just I, I define League MX as the shoot your shot league. You do expect higher performances and better things from Club Americas, but it's the inconsistency. With the well, thing with Shadda Martino, I will maintain that the U.S. men's national team came out to the knockout round despite terrible coaching. Like, they have a student discount, maybe, to go to four <laughs> games? Like, they got it, right? No. <laughs> to take that next step, I think it's still undisputed that you have to go to Europe. He's going to well, be on the ground for the majority the, of the time. No, I look back at highlights. That, no, that's, if that's you the have... Christian Pulisic treatment, though. Same. We're going to have to stop this. We're going to start arguing on this podcast, aren't we? Welcome back to the Real Football Show. I'm Gino Ganello, joined again by Alex Winley. And of course, you know, it's not, we're already on an episode this week. Uh, it's not your typical episode during the week. Uh, we don't typically have two for you, but with the news that has recently broke over the last 24 hours, we had to join. We had to, to get Alex back in here. We had to uh, go over it together. Messi is going to the MLS. It's just an unbelievable thing to even say. At this point, um, you know, still a shock that that he's going to come to the United States and play soccer for a team in the United States. And nonetheless, he's going to play soccer for a team that Alex covers and, and, and a team that we have a few people down in, in Miami that 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 can go and watch. Uh, Alex, I mean, just before we get into anything, tell me your feelings on, on everything that's happened over the last 24 hours. It's been absolutely crazy, Gino, honestly, since, you know, I think once Fabrizio tweeted that, here we go, I think it just got really real for for everyone who covers the team and, and mm -hmm. lives in South Florida. You know, they're, they're already painting murals down here in Wynwood and, and people were around the stadium last night just cheering for Messi and, and you know, every single local news uh, outlet was covering it and I, I just... I've never seen this before, you know, and, you know, usually the local news, yes, they'll cover inter Miami, but not, maybe not to the extent that they do other teams, but, you know, as soon as Messi was announced, it was just wall to wall coverage. And even today, you know, there's tons of the soccer stores down here in Miami, Miami beach, and, you know, they, they already have their Messi inter Miami jerseys out and the Argentina jerseys out. It's just, it's, it's just craziness. I, I still can't believe I woke up this morning and I'm like, wow, Messi is coming, not even just Miami, Messi's coming to MLS, you know, mm -hmm. that's been a dream for, you know, not only the ownership, but I'm sure Don Garber wanted, you know, at one point wanted Messi to come to the league. So the fact that it, it is happening and still Miami are, are working on bringing other players to compliment Messi as well. And, and they're still looking for a coach. There's just just so much to take in right now. And I'm still in shock. And, and I, and I, 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 you know, I had my morning tea and I was rereading the news and yeah, it just doesn't feel real. And it, it's just a it, party atmosphere down here in South Florida, you know, with the heat in the finals, the Florida Panthers. And now you, you have it, Lee and all Messi coming and, and playing in our backyard. And it just feels so surreal. So surreal. Yeah. I mean, think about that, right? I mean, the, the, the heater, the NBA finals, the, the Panthers are in the Stanley cup finals and local news is coming to Miami, not to cover those, you know, it's to cover, Lionel Messi coming to the United States. I mean, it, it's truly an unbelievable thing and, and an unbelievable just moment in U.S. soccer. Um, I think this is is huge from U U.S. soccer moving forward. Um, you know, it's it's crazy. I mean, th it seems like the pulse of of Miami right now is just messy, 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 and and everybody's just you know flocking. I mean, ticket prices for everything, games he probably won't even play in have skyrocketed since he. Since he 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 announced that he was coming to to uh, the United States, it, it's been wild. Let's start from the beginning. You know, how did we get to this point? I mean, obviously he leaves PSG, couple offers on the table. How did MLS seal the deal? Well, for one, I, I think we we do need to thank uh, Inter Miami co-owner Jorge Mas. Uh, you know, he's been working at this since you know the club's beginning, and I know when. You know, I saw, I remember seeing the news stories, you know, Intermind was getting, you know, kind of poked at a lot for being linked with every uh, European player, really. I remember the, the the Luis Suarez rumors, Edison Cavani and all that. But, you know, Moss was still hung up on Messi. And, you know, it even got to the point this year where a lot of fans were just ready to uh, give up on Messi. And they just wanted, you know, a, a capable uh, DP number 10 who could help create for Miami in the final third. And, and and, you know, they were all but ready to give up. But, you know, Jorge Mas, uh, you know, kept to it and, and, and brought Messi here. And, 
and yeah, that's that's one of the the, the founding stones of, of the club. They they really wanted Messi to come here even since the beginning. So that's number one. Number two, I think you have to look at the Apple TV, TV deal, Adidas and, and MLS as a whole. I know uh, I remember reading in the Miami Herald uh, from a uh, journalist, Michelle Kaufman. She she listed out some of the details of the contract. Um, MLS is not financing this deal. It, it is completely an inner Miami thing with Apple TV and Adidas. Uh, you know, there's a... I don't know what to call it. It's, it's a basically a package to bring in my uh, Messi here. And I think that I think the biggest issue was I, I know a lot of MLS fans probably didn't want their team subsidizing this move for Messi. And, and per the Miami Herald, that uh, that is not happening. MLS is not financing this move. So, yes, you have to thank Apple. You have to thank Adidas for for just creating this package to get uh, Messi, you know, you know, the money that he deserves really. And it's, it is crazy that he still turned down that Saudi Arabia move, uh, to just crazy amounts of money to, to come to MLS. And I think yeah. it, well, you also have to, you know, commend Messi a little bit, you know, he, he was going through a lot, um, in Paris from what I've read in that Mundo uh, Deportivo, uh, interview. And he just wanted a place to, to play soccer still at a high level and, for his family to settle down, you know, with his three kids and his wife, Antonella. So, yeah, I think it's a combination of those three things. Jorge Mas being super persistent, uh, Adidas and uh, um, uh, Apple, uh, you know, combining to make this package for Messi and Messi wanting to still play at a high level, but settle down a little bit more and get prepped for that Copa America next season, uh, yeah. season next year, which will be held, I believe, in the United States, right? So he's going to be yeah, basically trading near Argentina, you know, uh, it's like a, I don't know how many hour flight from Miami to Buenos Aires. And, you know, he'll, he'll be playing in the league where the next Copa America will be hosted in, in the United States. So, yeah, it's just a perfect storm of everything. And, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just still shaking my head, Gino. I, you know, it's just, it's like so precise. This deal needed to happen at the right time and, and they got it done. I'm still in shock, really. But it, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, turning down one, billion dollars is is never an easy thing to do and and that's what Messi had to do with Saudi Arabia I mean you know it was a very lucrative deal as we've seen with a lot of players and a lot of players have taken it and you can't blame them for that um but he had to turn that down or he turned that down to come to the United States and play in America and and again granted this will be lucrative for him as well you know he has I think I read he has stake in Apple TV's broadcast deal he has stake in Adidas's kit deal and he has stake you know, if once he retires, he'll have the the possibility of a stake in the club of Inter Miami as well. So, this is you know, of course, something that stretches far beyond what his play is on the pitch. But uh, let's just start with you know, let's let's move into his play on the pitch. What what could this? What does this mean for Inter Miami as a club moving forward? Um, well, yeah, for one, I, I mentioned um, <clears throat> excuse me um, that um, this year Miami were having. So much difficulty scoring. I, I think they scored like 15, 15 goals in 15 games. So it's not prolific scoring at, by any means. So number one, Messi's going to come onto the field and immediately be that that main guy, that main scorer, that main creator for Miami. And, you know, Miami have, you know, Joseph Martinez, Leonardo Campana, who th- both of them have shown that they can score, you know, 10 plus goals in this league. And right now they're just missing that 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 link from um from defense midfield to attack and Messi can be that that operator that that um offensive engine that Miami really needs and also you know depends on who is the coach and you know obviously there are rumors about uh, you know different coaches uh, coming to to Miami and and, and they'll implement the, their play styles but yeah I think Messi will automatically be that link for you know the Campanas and the Joseph Martinez and the Nico Stefanellis and 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 every other attacker on 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 Inter Miami to to score. You know, Miami desperately need they they needed that help. Honestly, as much as Messi commercially will bring so much to the club, he's going to bring so much on the pitch as well. And you know, we all saw him. You know, just you know tearing it up in the World Cup. And he's you know he's thirty five, but he still plays super young, and it, it's incredible to see what he does. So um, yeah, he'll bring that much needed offensive threat in the final third for Miami. He's still a very good attacker. If you look at his underlying stats, his his attacking output is still super brilliant. Uh, you know, obviously defending wise, he he you know it's, he he's not going to have to do that. Whoever the coach is, whoever the coach is, they'll they'll bring in guys to you know do the defensive work for him. But it, offensively, it'll just change the complexion of this attack, and and it'll just give them more fire. And even 
watching them in the U.S. Open Cup last night, you know, against Birmingham Legion, where, you know, they, they eked out a 1-0 win, and you can there was a pretty bad blown penalty call with the handball. But, you know, even watching that, they did look <laughs> – I, I guess the news kind of, you know, uh, helped them out a little bit, So, but they did play a little bit better than what they were uh, previously before when Phil Neville was in charge. So I think Messi is just going to change this attack so much, and I'm, I'm intrigued to see how the next coach uh, uses him in that regard and what lineup they have and, and see if he can get the most out of the other players as well. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, and of course, you know, this may, you know, balloon into not just Messi coming into Miami. It may also balloon into some other players. We've heard reports about Sergio Busquets, as you've mentioned already, Alex, on previous podcasts. Uh, reports of Angel Di Maria, Luis Suarez, um, other players who, who may come and join Messi uh, at Inter Miami. So, you know, from a perspective of how this could help the club, I mean, it, it's it's it even stretches beyond just Messi and just bringing players of his quality to this club and, and, and of top quality to this club to, you know, again, improve the, you know, quality of the club and, and improve, you know, the quality of the league by having better players. Um, and, you know, I know that, that they're up there in age when it comes to these, these stars that are being, being announced. Um, so it's not going to be the young stars that could transform the league, you know, in total, but just having those big names in the league is huge. And, leads me to my next point um you know with with this again we've talked about it in miami but i think the biggest point here is the league right and, and what it can do for league how important is this now for the league for mls moving forward and for u.s soccer moving forward and you know to 2024 Copa america and then of course 2026 world cup yeah it's absolutely huge i think <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I believe someone, uh, I don't know who mentioned it, but it, it's basically going to have a trickle-down effect. I, I And I believe, I think, you know, once, you know, other players see that, you know, Messi's going to MLS and, you know, maybe I was, uh, you know, maybe I was interested in MLS, but maybe didn't want to commit, but Messi's coming uh, coming over now. And, you know, yeah, maybe I will make the, the move too in the next year or two. I, I you know, for one, I'll, I'll, I'll shout out or, or, or bring up you know, a guy like Antoine Griezmann who did, uh, mentioned a couple years ago that he was interested in the league and in coming to the league, you know, and maybe he was on the fence about that. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll see him play for, um, I don't know, any um, MLS team in the next few years. I think it'll be huge for players coming over. It'll be huge for, uh, I think, the average American soccer fan who, you know, may not be interested in MLS, but since Messi is 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 coming to the league now, they may be, uh, uh, it, it, you know, intrigued by by maybe watching the league a little bit and 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 seeing where that goes. And I think, like you said, you know, with the Copa America coming up and then and then the World Cup, I think it's just it's the perfect time for Messi to come and kind of be that in, more like an ambassador for the sport in America, more or less. Sort of like how Pele back in the day with the Cosmos. I think Messi will will kind of spearhead. Uh, the United States effort, you know, during the Cup of America and then the World Cup, just kind of to galvanize within these next few years, uh, you know, America will be that soccer hotbed because they'll be hosting two major tournaments. And then you have one of the, if not the best player in the world playing in their domestic league. So I think it's just commercial, commercially incredible. I think it'll grow the game so much. Kids who grew up watching Messi will quite literally be able to go to games if they're not priced out already because some of the ticket prices were absolutely skyrocketing uh some of these younger kids who grew up watching Messi will be able to go to games and see him in the flesh and I think you know that little kid will be inspired to go play in in MLS or the NWSL and and I think it's just gonna be so good for the sport and and, and you know similar to what Beckham did but I, I think Messi will have a, a much bigger impact yeah I mean this is just absolutely massive for you know MLS for United States soccer for for really everything that we've you know just everything that we 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 love here in the United States when it comes to soccer this is the potential to really skyrocket the MLS and and take it to a level we haven't seen before I mean again the MLS is a fast growing league it's grown extremely fast already up into this point I think we're 30 years in and and it's it's grown like a lot it's changed a lot but this is the potential to take it to all new heights and all new levels, levels we have not seen before and and may not have seen not only in the United States, but in the entire world when it comes to sports. I mean, 
it, what we think what we need to remember here and again what what is very very important is this if messi goes out there and he does it you know this is not about the trophies this is not about the success that he has as a player on the field we know he's 35 36 years old um you know it it's not about what he does on the pitch it's about everything that he can transform off of it and and it has potential to really like you've mentioned just really take off and and create this just unbelievable culture around soccer in the United States and, and, and create something that I think a lot of us who are big soccer fans who have been following this sport for a very long time, uh, it creates something that, that we've wanted to see for a very long time and, and create a, a product here in the United States for Copa America, for the 2026 World Cup, for young kids around the world um, that that's just going to be amazing and, and can really take off the league in the United States. Um, and, and I guess the last question I want to ask is, you know, you mentioned Beckham, you know, we've talked about some of the other players that have come here, um, you know, and, and transform the league is Messi coming to the United States is Messi coming to MLS, the most influential transfer, the most influential deal that we could see over, you know, forever. Is this the most influential deal that that's ever happened in the MLS? Yeah, I think so. In my opinion, I know when 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 Beckham went to the LA Galaxy, that was a an a momentous moment for the league and for the the Galaxy and and for the league and and, and for the fans as well. But I think, no disrespect to Beckham, but I think honestly, I think Messi is just in a different stratosphere of of you know just you know, fame and, 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 and he's, he's just, I don't know how to describe it. He's just so uh, well known and, and, and on top of the soccer world at the moment. And I, I know Beckham had a phenomenal career on his own, but I, I, I don't think he reached the, the heights that Messi has had. So I think it'll surpass that. And then some, and I, I, I think one thing, Gino, I'm, I'm really excited about is that when Beckham came to the league, you know, they introduced a, uh, uh, the DP rule, I believe, for him, and, and and now I'm intrigued to see what what happens after. You know, even now when Messi's here, yes, but after when Messi does leave, how is that going to change the league's landscape? Are they going to, you know, maybe even get rid of the DP rule to to make sure you know to help other, you know, just to expand the the rosters a little bit and and help other teams spend and and uh, and you know let ambitious ambitious teams spend and and even the underachievers kind of you know flex their 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 roster and and and, and money wings for a little bit and I'm, I'm just so intrigued you know like i said earlier a little you know you know kids who grew up watching messi will be able to watch him live they'll be able to go to the games they'll be able to see him in the copa america next year in the united states and have that connection to him um yeah, it's just going to be seismic. I, I'm so curious to see how the roster rules change after this because, you know, we're seeing names linked link to Inter-Miami that may not even uh, come to Inter-Miami. And, and, you know, maybe in, in 10 years' time, that you know, my, the, you know th these roster rules won't be in place and they'll be able to sign those players uh, regardless of what, what, what is going on. So, yes, I'm just so curious to see how that goes on, the influence it's going to have on the younger generation and yeah, it's just going to be the next crazy couple of years with the Copa America, with the World Cup, and now Messi's here to kind of, uh, you know, be you know spearhead all of that and 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 be that soccer, uh, you know, hub for the next couple of years in, in America, yeah. and it'll just be really uh, brilliant to see from you know you know us you know writers and and journalists com covering you know the sport here in America. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be an absolute pleasure. I mean, it's going to be so much fun. I mean, you know, again, influential wise. I would agree. I, I think this is the most influential transfer. Beckham was great. He changed the league. He, he gave a different picture to the league. And I think he's led to a lot of what, and, and has been involved in a lot of what we see now, right, in the MLS. But I think Messi has the potential to take this to a level that I'm not sure we even thought was possible in the MLS. He has that potential. Will it happen? I don't know. But I think he has that potential to take this to a, a level that, that, you know, would be shocking, not only to us, but, but probably to the entire world, you know? So, um, you know, he, he is just such a, like a transformative figure. And I mean, we've already seen ticket, I mean, I, if I heard correctly, July 21st, which is not, again, not even confirmed, not even confirmed the date that he's going to play 
his first game for Inter Miami, but that game is going to be against Cruz Azul in the League's Cup, the first match in the League's Cup. From what I understand, there's already talks. They've already sold out the, the DRV Pink, and there's already talks about them possibly moving the game to Hard Rock, if I if I read correctly. Which yeah. Is a 60,000 seat stadium. I mean, I don't know how much the new stadium is going to be, how many seats the new stadium is going to be, but they might have to think about making it a little bit bigger after the, after this signing. So honestly, but yeah, it's it's going to be, you know, unbelievable. I mean, people have been saying, you know, this this will pay for their season tickets. Even away away teams, it's just like you know, like it'll be like, oh, I can sell this one ticket for a thousand dollars, and that pays for my season ticket for the whole year. It's like it, it's wild what has happened. You know what what has already happened, and we don't even know <laughs> when he's coming, where he's gonna you know start play, when when he's gonna play. You know, you know, so it's. It's going to be an unbelievable thing to watch transpire and and, and happen, and uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll be here for the ride, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, and of course, Alex gets to cover it. So that's yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. we all get to cover it, but Alex gets to cover yeah. it up up close and personal, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, like you said, I think you said this in this in Slack chat group. The uh, the Inter Miami press press box is press <laughs> box is going to be a a little more packed in these uh, coming days. So uh, uh, it'll be yeah. great. But Alex, uh, anything else you want to touch on on this situation before we wrap it up? Uh, no, but I will say I, I am curious to see who they're going to appoint as coach. I think that is just uh, as important as, you know, bringing Messi in, you know, obviously you don't want to bring Messi in and have him, you know, not play to his potential with the players around him. So, you know, um, I, I think um, according to rumors, hopefully, you know, the coaching search gets, done within the next two weeks over the the, the international break. And then uh, I think that's when things start to really set in for Inter Miami as they go through the league. Yeah, I mean, obviously Tata Martino is the big name that's been linked um, with some people even reporting that a deal is very close there. Um, we'll have to keep an eye out on that, but you're right. I mean, a coach is just as important. It, it, again, for the play on the pitch, this is very important. This is a very important thing. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to watch it all play out again. There is there's been reports that that a move for Sergio Busquets is very close as well. So this could all change. This is ever changing. We're finding out new details every single day. Um, we will have that of course for you on the 90men.com website slash us 90men.com slash us and of course on the social accounts below here: TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, YouTube will have it with the, the podcasts and, and everything like that. So um, again, make sure to follow us there. Make sure to get all the content there. We will have everything we possibly can for you um, whenever we can for you. You know, we, we will do everything we can to cover this in the best possible way. Uh, so so keep, keep an eye out there. Um, Alex, thank you for joining me. As always, we appreciate it. Um, we'll see what I, we may have you back on next week. I think we got a couple moving parts here with Edwin may be coming back on a couple of the other writers who, who haven't, uh, you know, been on the, uh, the podcast yet. We're going to introduce them to the podcast as well. So whether it be next week or the week after, or whenever we see you again, Alex, I'm excited to talk to you again. And, and, and a few weeks down the road, I'm sure we'll have a lot more to talk about Messi and, and in Miami. So thank you as always. And thank you guys out there as always for listening. And uh, again, make sure you subscribe, make sure you listen, make sure you follow. We appreciate all the support and we'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.